guys, Nurse Mike here, and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Now, before we get today's lecture started, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our cool nifty new study guides not here on YouTube. Click the link right up here at any time during this video. All right, guys, let's begin. Okay, next is B for beta blockers, which puts the brakes on the heart, ending in LOL like a tenolol. So think double L's means double lows. L for low heart rate and L for low blood pressure. So we always check both heart rate and blood pressure before giving. Now pharmacology exams love to ask about the three negative tropics. So guys, beta blockers put the brakes on the heart. So negative chronos means less time, negative ino means less force, and negative dromotropic means less speed of conduction, which results in less beats. Now these fancy words just means that we get a decrease in resistance, workload, and cardiac output, which makes it bad for our patients in acute or that worsening heart failure. So for the mechanism of action in beta blockers, just think beta blockers block beta receptors in the sympathetic nervous system. Just fancy words for blocking beta 1 for a one heart and also blocking beta 2 for two lung. And since most are non-selective or aka non-cardiac selective, we end up blocking everything. So we not only get a slow heart, but we also get narrowed bronchi in the lungs, basically called a bronchospasm. So we usually hold this drug for COPD and asthma patients. So to help you remember the most dangerous side effects, guys, write down these four Bs here. Bradycardia and low blood pressure, we hold the drug. This is always on the NCLEX. So any heart rate less than 60 and any blood pressure less than 90 or 100 systolic. Guys, we don't give the drug. And since the drug affects the blood pressure, we always teach the patients slow position changes to avoid passing out, aka orthostatic hypotension. Next B is for breathing problems. Since beta blockers block beta 2 in the lungs, we get these bronchospasms, commonly heard as wheezing. So again, never give to asthma or COPD patients. Next B is bad for heart failure patients. It can worsen heart failure patients, guys. NCLEX keywords here, write these down. New edema, worsening crackles in the lungs, rapid weight gain, or even new JVD. All indicate a new heavy fluid or basically worsening heart failure, which is a big priority. We always report these key words, always new or worsening findings, to the HCP or basically to the doctor. Our last B is for blood sugar masking in our diabetic patients. So sugars below 70. Beta blockers commonly hide the signs and symptoms of low sugar, that hypoglycemia. Hiding the cool, the shaky, the clammy, and even hiding that high heart rate. So guys, we want to monitor our sugars closely, since low blood sugar means low brain function. Or basically, hypogly, the brain might die. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.